Hi everyone, Nikki Buckaloo here at Buckaloo Realty Group. And I'm here to talk a little bit today about what do home inspections look like for a seller. Well, that's a great question. Um, a lot of sellers are a little bit concerned when they find out that the buyer has hired a home inspector to fully inspect the house. And I think the stress comes sometimes from our clients are usually amazing caretakers of their home. Uh, they take great pride in managing the house, uh, making repairs when they need to be done, keeping things just the way they're supposed to be. And inevitably, home inspectors are going to find something wrong with even the most perfect home. In fact, new construction even, they'll find a list of things wrong. So I just want to first say don't stress over home inspections. Now, when a buyer hires a home inspector based on a contract that they have with you, they have a period of time to do that. And it's usually about 10 days here in Oklahoma unless it's written in the contract differently. And in that 10 day period, they may have a pest inspection, they may have a whole house inspection. If there's a pool, they may inspect that, um, among other things. But let's talk mainly about the full house inspection. They're gonna look at all of the big stuff, like windows and the roof and the foundation and the heating and air conditioning and the plumbing and hot water tank and so on. They're also gonna look at a lot of other things like the outlets behind your sinks that have the GFI switches and do all the light switches work and um, do things happen the way they're supposed to as someone lives in the home. Now, once they've completed their exhaustive inspection, they're gonna write up a report and they're gonna submit that report to their client, the buyer and their real estate agent. They're gonna look at that report together and they're gonna make some decisions about whether or not they're going to ask you, the seller, to make those repairs. And in some cases, they may ask for some of the repairs, they may ask for none of the repairs, or they may ask for all of the repairs. It kind of depends on the terms of the contract, right? So you have the ability then when they submit that proposal to you and your agent to review it and make some decisions for yourself. Are we gonna make these repairs? Are we not gonna make these repairs? Or are we gonna negotiate something in the middle? And the buyer may sometimes say, hey, look, do you want to give me some money in lieu of making the repairs? Like, would you take, say, $500 off the sales price instead of having to make these repairs? That's a negotiable item. So when you think about it, the very first contract that you have with the buyer is literally the first contract. There will be a renegotiation possibly after home inspections. Now, here's what I hear our agents often telling clients. When that home inspection is done and we get the report, don't go out and make all those repairs right away. You may have that instinct where you go, oh, they found that? I didn't know that was wrong. I'm gonna go fix it. Well, before you do any of that, talk to your agent because your agent may have a different idea of how to go about this. It may be that the buyer doesn't really want you to fix that they would rather have another way to negotiate with you. So home inspections can be a little stressful for clients, but they really don't need to be. It's a very natural part of the process and it's, it's really to protect the buyer from buying a home that has defects that they didn't know about. And in turn, it protects you as the seller. So if the buyer moves into that house and there's a defect, they don't come back on you even though you didn't know about it. It's really a great win-win for everybody, but that house gets sold in good working order and everyone agrees about what works and what doesn't, whether they knew it or not. So anyway, home inspections, please talk to your agent about this because your agent matters. If they're a really good negotiator, they can help you save money and not have to make a bunch of repairs that are unnecessary. And if they're not a great agent, then they may not know how to negotiate these repairs with the buyer to make it a win-win for everybody. I hope that's helpful. There's a lot more information in the blog post, so feel free to read that on our website. And by the way, if you're on YouTube, we would love that uh, if you subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be doing more and more educational videos and we have a lot on there already. Until next time, I'm Nikki Buckaloo at Buckaloo Realty Group and we'll see you on the next video.